morning's match will be offered for Francis Vasquez, and we will have a votive mass in honor of the Holy Spirit. So let us begin in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. spirit. Coming together as God's family with confidence. Let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you bring us strength in time of trial. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come to heal the sick and the suffering. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You have come to pardon, bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Hey, Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who have taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant that in the same Spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in His consolation through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Maccabees. From the descendants of Alexander's officers, there sprang a sinful offshoot, Antiochus Athenes, son of Ant King Antiochus, once a hostage at Rome. He became king in the year 137 of the kingdom of the Greeks. In those days there appeared in Israel men who were breakers of the law, and they seduced many people, saying, let us go and make an alliance with the Gentiles all around us. Since we were separated from them, many evils have come upon us. The proposal was agreeable. Some from among the people promptly went to the king, and he authorized them to introduce the way of living of the Gentiles. Thereupon they built a gymnasium in Jerusalem according to the Gentile custom. They covered over the mark of their circumcision and abandoned their holy, co holy covenant. They allied themselves with the Gentiles and sold themselves to wrongdoing. <clears throat> then the king wrote to the whole kingdom that all should be one people, each abandoning his particular customs. All the Gentiles conformed to the command of the king, and many children of Israel were in favor of his religion. They sacrificed to idols and profaned the Sabbath. On the 15th day of the month, Chislev, in the year 145, the king erected a horrible abomination upon the altar of burnt offerings, and in the surrounding cities of Judah they built pagan altars. They also burned incense at the doors of houses and in the streets. Any scrolls of the law which they found they tore up and burnt. Whoever was found with the scroll of the covenant and whoever observed the law was condemned to death by royal decree. But many in Israel were determined and resolved in their hearts not to eat anything unclean. They preferred to die rather than to be defiled with unclean food or to profane the Holy Covenant, and they did die. Terrible affliction was upon Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Indignation seizes me because of the wicked who forsake your law. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Through the snares of the wicked are entwined about me, your law I have not forgotten. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Redeem me from the oppression of men, that I may keep your precepts. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. I am attacked by malicious persecutors who are far from your law. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Far from sinners is salvation, because they seek not your statutes. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. I beheld the apostates in loathing, because they kept not to your promise. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Hallelujah, 
Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He shouted, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The people walking in front rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, son of David, have pity on me. Then Jesus stopped and ordered that he be brought to him. And when he came near, Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? He replied, Lord, please let me see. Jesus told him, have sight. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Miracles happen every day. Many people pass them off as being coincidence, accidents. They don't consider anything coming from God. It just, things just happen, so they think. But that's not true. In your own personal life, you're praying and you find out that out of nowhere, your problem is resolved. So all tension drops from you, all worry, all fear, and you're at peace. <clears throat> and there are so many peacemakers in this world, the number is countless. People suffering, sacrificing for the good of others, just as Jesus did. Always trying to bring calm and peace where, and love wherever they go. Today we, there are two people that are honored today, they're, they're potential saints. They haven't received the type of miracle which is totally impossible and that would merit them the title of blessed or the title of um, saint. And they are a husband and wife, uh, Frank Sheed and Daisy Ward. Frank was born about around the turn of the 19th century and Daisy came after him. But Frank came from Australia. He was the son of a very devout Catholic woman of Irish descent. And he went to London where really at that time Catholics were not respected. In fact, they were cast aside as being almost to the point of pagan or being of the devil. But Frank established a, a Catholic press and he, met, he would go to Hyde Park, which is the center of where people would go and they could stand on the soap, literally stand on the soapbox and proclaim their beliefs and the people such as Frank who did this had to be steeped in the, their theology, their Catholic history, philosophy. They had to have more or less all the answers to the questions of those that, who surrounded them. And that's where he met Maisie Ward, his wife, who was uh, the daughter of a prominent Catholic family in London. And that was together they had this publishing house, and, and they came to America, and they, perhaps if you've seen a lot of Catholic literature, you'll find it stamped with Sheet and Ward, and 
the amount of good they did was just utterly tremendous because the, the thinkers, the philosophers, the theologians, th really throughout the world were affected by their simplicity, their honesty, their truth. And if people would really examine the truth of the Catholic faith, the history of this faith, they would come to a realization that this isn't something that's one, one, one or more persons thought up. It comes directly from the roots of our faith, Jesus Christ, and the, the, the history given, handed down to us by what we call the, the, the theologians, the fathers of the church, so on and so forth. And so hopefully Frank Sheen and his wife Mary uh, Daisy Ward will be soon granted the recognition as being servants of God, eventually blessed, and in the last stage of course is sainthood. Now if you'll stand, we'll have our general intercession. United by our faith in God, let us now bring our prayers before Him. That the inspiration of the Holy Spirit may guide God's people in ways that are pleasing to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That the Prince of Peace may come upon all nations and end conflicts in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That God may bless all doctors, nurses, and health care workers as they care for those he has placed before them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may continue to bless each one of us here with faith that produces good fruit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the souls of the faithfully parted may soon rest in peace, including Frank uh, Francis Vasquez, for whom this Mass is being offered. For all those whose names are on the altar for the month of November, for our own deceased loved ones and parishioners, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For our own special intentions, which we privately include in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. God of life, we offer our prayers to you in the hope that you will hear and answer them according to our need. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, they will come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine, a work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, glory to God. Wash me, Lord, for my iniquity and pardon me of my sin. May my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept your sacrifice and sisters and brothers for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the faults of the Church. Sanctify, we pray, O Lord, the offerings made here, and cleanse our hearts by the light of the Holy Spirit. 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift the hearts of the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, ascending above all the heavens and sitting at your right hand, you poured out the promised Holy Spirit on your adopted children. Therefore now, and for ages and ending, and with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. <laughs> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord until we come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Alfred our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Francis Vasquez, for whom this Mass is being offered. Remember all of our deceased loved ones and parishioners, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with Saint Elizabeth of Hungary and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Sorry. <clears throat> through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. That's the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bring eternal life to us who we see it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and our sins. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and our sins. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and our sins. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter my heart, but I will say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the outpouring of the Holy Spirit cleanse our hearts, O Lord, and make them fruitful by the inner sprinkling of His dew through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.
Thanks be to God. Say my Lord, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord, our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of heavenly hosts, 